Hello everyone, welcome to QStack. This session is a continuation session for Zephyr integration with regression. So in last session, we have seen how to update Zephyr test case status via script. Now we are going to see how we can upload the attachments. So let's open the test summary. So here, let's pick one test cycle, sample test cycle. Now we will be updating, adding a test in this sample test cycle, updating its status as passed. And then we are going to add the attachment. So before that, let me fetch the cycle ID. by running fetch cycle details. This is an API with which we can fetch the cycle ID along with other details. Now let me search with my cycle, which is sample test cycle. So cycle ID for this is six. So let me update the same in the code. So it will take care of six. Now we are going to update issue key QAS three. So, so far we have written the code to update the status. Now let's add the code to update, to add upload attachment. So again, we will have to create a rest request. So here I'm copying the code again and renaming it as upload request. Copying the name everywhere. So while uploading the attachment, uh, you need to make sure that the content type this time would be changed. So this time it would be multi-part slash form data. The authorization credentials will remain the same. The upload endpoint will be test zappy latest attachment. Now we are going to add the file which we want to upload. So the file will be uploaded as part of multi-part here first you have to give the controller name which will be file then you have to provide a new object and here you need to specify the file path let's say i have created a file called info.txt which i want to upload then next i also need to specify the content of the file which will be text since it's a text file it's giving me an error let's see what's it okay next thing is you need to add two query parameters also to the request will be entity id this is nothing but the execution id next parameter will be entity type which is 
execution make sure you're giving the right spelling otherwise your upload will not work now let's hit the request load status this and let's print this status okay so let's just quickly re-verify we are creating an upload request adding a base uri adding header content type as multi form multi part slash form data header authorization endpoint rest is api latest attachment multi-part file new file object text plane query parameter entity id query parameter entity type post upload endpoint provided get status code print status code fine we are good to go let's just change the issue key to one now uh, we are going to execute it So now you see this sample test cycle, it's totally empty. And once the execution is finished, okay, we are getting 405 in uploading the attachment. So let's see if we have used the right. Okay, I have done a mistake. Instead of form data, I've mentioned for data. Let's execute it one more time. good now we have received status code 200 which means the file is uploaded let's go back to the fire and refresh the page yeah so you can see one test case has been there under sample test cycle with status passed and let's see if we can see the attachment uploaded so here is the attachment with this execution So now we are going to now we have code how to update the status and upload attachments so we are going to put it in a function and then we are going to use that function in our test ng so Now we need to provide the issue key to this as input. We are creating one function which will update the status and upload the results. So issue key, then status, then the file path. Now this issue key is already taken as the parameter status. This we need to replace with the variable here. Here we are parameterizing the status. rename any existing status variable next is file path so here we are passing the file path now this function is ready to be used in our test ng project project i've already created a class with a sample test so this is a test ng class and this is one sample test at the rate test public void today and just for demo purpose i have added an assert as assert true 
so this condition will be always true so this test case will always be passed so i'm using i test result listener to capture the result status post execution and in the after method i am using update result method in which i am capturing this result listener and getting the status from the result printing the status and then based on status if it's success i need to update the zephyr test as pass and if it's failure i need to update zephyr as Zephyr test as failed. So we'll be seeing both the conditions. Let me call the function. So the class which we have created is result status update. We need to call and we have created a static method over there so that we can directly call it. Now we need to provide three things. First one is the issue key. Second one is the status. Third one is the file path. In the cases of failure, the status will be 2. Now again, let's go back to our cycle. So this test cycle, sample test, it is having right now QAS1. Now let's update for an issue QAS2. So this result, uh, as I already told, this test case will always pass. So this line of code will be executed and QAS2 will be executed marked status as passed with this attachment. Now we can execute this test case with just like any other test case using testng.xml or bomb.xml. So here I am using this bomb.xml to execute it. So let's open the terminal. It's kind of slow so we can directly run it from here as well run as maven test it's running the test suit now so the it is executed test run one failure zero error zero as i have told the test case will pass to see the results We can see the results in Surefire report. QS stack regression days. The status is passed. Now let's move on to Jira, whether our issue QS2 is executed or not. Refresh the page. Sample test cycle. Now the count here showing as 2. And in the, the list you can see the test case 2 added over here. If you want to see the details, we'll have to click on detail tab to see if attachments are uploaded or not. This Jira is extremely slow. Please bear with me. Yes, it's loaded. So sample test cycle QAS2 status was reported as passed. And here is the info file, text file, which we have uploaded. So this is how we can upload the attachments and update the status in Jira. Let's try one more time and try to update a failed test case. Again, we are going to use sample test cycle. And since we have already QAS1, this time we are going to do it with QAS3. 
So for that, I need to reverse the condition so that my test case will fail. And in failure condition, let me put test case three. I want to mark it as failed. So I've given here the status as true. Now let's execute it one more time. So now test run, failure 1. Now let's see if the results are updated in the file. Sample test, test cycle, it is having now 3 test cases, 2 passed, 1 fail. QAS 3. Let's open the detailed view for it. Select the Jira, click on details. Here the status is failed. This is the text file uploaded. So this was it in this session. You can, uh, I have uploaded this code in a GitHub repository. I will be sharing a link in the description box and you can download the code and you can add this in your existing regression suits if you want to update the test cases in Zephyr automatically via code. Thank you.